Plymouth Craft held a workshop on teaching the ancient art of log splitting. We often take for granted that we used to mill lumber by hand, but Plymouth Craft is keeping these historical skills alive. PCN stopped in to get the story. This is one of Plymouth Craft's standard workshops where we teach the ancient craft of splitting a log apart instead of sawing apart into boards. So we're using wedges, hatchets, and an old tool called a fro to learn how to read the grain in this log and split it open to get usable stock out of it. So this is a, a very old way of harvesting the usable material from a log. This sort of uh, craft, and a lot of the crafts we teach here at Plymouth Craft, whether it's textiles, uh, cooking, the woodworking, uh, ironwork, these are all sort of a, a connection people can find to uh, natural materials and also to handwork. So the benefits that I see are that they're engaging their hands, engaging their minds in uh, working with these natural materials in old ways that are new to them. For me, I teach lots of workshops both here and in other woodworking schools around the country. And for me, the exciting part of it is maybe twofold or more. One is the connections I make with other people, with all these students from all walks of life, quite far flung. We had a participant here from Australia this spring. Uh, so those connections to people and then the excitement that I get in sharing my love for these traditional crafts and finding that sort of fire lit in other people. This is just a, a part of a woodworking career I have that spans back almost 40 years now, uh, where uh, others have taught me these skills using the ha hand tools, non-electric tools, so uh, old tools, uh, old style tools. I've had a chance to to use some tools that I don't always get to use or some tools that I purchased and I didn't always have a chance to use so uh, uh, yeah we started splitting oak logs with wedges and sledgehammers and then uh, basically took these enormous logs and split them down into uh, smaller bite-sized pieces so we can make some lumber out of them. I have experiences with woodworking um, always had a passion for it um, a few years ago quite a few years ago I saw PBS with Peter Follinsby and some of the other folks, um, I had to try that, you know. So what happened was uh, last year I took a class here at Plymouth Craft and uh, it just keeps spiraling. So this is my third time here in Plymouth and I've taken some other classes with Peter in the past as well. I, I'm glad that these folks are doing what they're doing for us. Uh, it gives me a chance, I'm relatively local, where I can come and do something with my hands, step away from the uh, electronic world for a while and, and, uh, and get back to some roots.